This is the first union in Canada, by the way, that I'm aware of, that where health and safety reps are really responsible for health and safety from the time a worker walks onto the company property till the time they leave at night, whether there's even, even when there's an injury for the lifetime of the injury as well. And, and we're actually able as a union, as people that feel compassion towards our fellow workers, we're able to help people get back to work at real jobs and stay there. You can go on and, and, and help and serve and work somehow. And it's our job to make sure that we recognize the fact that all the human beings that we deal with are useful. And return to work is a huge part of that. It's the employer's job, by law, to try and get workers back to early and safe return to work, early work reintegration. So in Ontario, it's the law. An employer has to find safe and suitable work. That's, that's the law. It's in, it's in workers' compensation and it's in the Human Rights Code. And we basically sit down to a pleasant kind of negotiation where we come up with a job for a worker who is injured and cannot go back to their old duties and cannot work eight hours a day or nine hours a day or overtime or whatever. And we come up with something that works. So here's a, a few statistics I ran into when I was preparing for this presentation. And if your employer has any problems with health and safety, any problems with return to work and helping somebody who's been injured, talk to them about the economics. If that's the language they need to hear, let them hear it. So don't be shy, be polite, be respectful, understand that they're coming from a different position, they've been taught differently. And if we can approach health and safety that way, that yes, I'm going to talk to you about health and safety, but I'm going to talk to you about how we can do it better. And then, if we talk about return to work, how can we do, make win-win situations? How does the company get a valuable worker back and the worker get a valuable job back? So that's why when I talk about work, we're talking about real work, meaningful jobs, jobs that are useful to the employer, creating win-win situations. It's important. It's important for your own self-worth, but it's also important for the long term. I would really like that all of the people that are going out to work every day and may need your help for whatever reason, whether it's uh, with, with an employer issue, uh, a personal issue, uh, whatever, that they know that we are there to help them. The people we work with have to be able to feel comfortable coming to us and talking to us when they have an injury or a health and safety issue. And that's why I started this by saying, please go back to your workplaces and talk to people. Let them know that you're there to help them. And, and with, with CUSW, that's really hard sometimes because the, the, the health and safety rep isn't always on the job site. It's not like being in a factory where your health and safety rep's on the next machine. It's not like that. So we need communication. You need to be able to listen to, you, to, the, to the people around you. You don't have to like somebody. You have to respect them enough to listen to them. And I mean listen, like really hear what they're saying. Understand why they're saying it and then be able to do something or offer something in response to that. We're all in this together. It's really, really uh, an incredible thing, really, when you think about it. That's what a union is. We're united together. We work together, we help each other, we support each other, and we come out the other end better for it, all of us. So it's an awesome thing that we're involved in here. 
Yes. And if I can leave you with one thing today, it's that your job is really, really important. And therefore, you are really, really important. So respect each other, respect your members. You don't have to like, like them, you don't have to like your employer, but when you're dealing with people, deal with them from a point of strength, knowledge, and respect. Thank you.